Nonstick cooking spray from Good and Gather. Let's talk about it. Lloyd from Banyan Tree Studios in Lower Puna. It's the Social Media Influencer Show with your host, Sven Buchanan. Hello and welcome to the Social Media Influencer Show where trends are set and the willing are influenced. Sven Buchanan could not be here today. I am filling in for him. My name is Jim Larson. Good and Gather. Buy this at Target. It's a Target name brand. I don't quite understand the name of this. Good and Gather. Good, that's an adjective. Gather, that's a verb. You don't usually join an adjective and a verb with the word and. I'm not sure what they're going for here. It's good. Okay, I get that. It is good. I've tried it. That's why I'm talking about it now because I want you to know just how good it is and I want to use my influence to get you to start talking about this on social media. You know, most of you have Twitter accounts. Most of you have other accounts, Facebook, that picture one, Instagram. I know you have Instagram accounts. So let's get some buzz going on Good and Gather Canola Nonstick Cooking Spray. That is why I am co -host, or guest hosting the show today, so I can bring awareness to you so you can do the rest. I want to show you, I'm going to bring this up on screen, this graphic, so you can see what I'm talking about. There it is. So as you can see, it tells you serving suggestion, and we see a skittle, or a skillet, with a fried egg on it. This suggests to us that it is suggested we cook eggs with this. The suggestion being you spray this on the pan, I'll just call it a pan, and it won't stick. And yeah, what else can I say about that? That's a suggestion. Eggs are the suggestion, but you can use it for other things too. I will tell you from my own personal experience, I do baking, and if I don't want what I'm baking to stick to the sheet, you know, I put down some tin foil, maybe some parchment paper, whatever is appropriate for the bakery thing I'm working on, whatever cooking project I am embarking upon. I will spray a little bit of this on, and it works. It doesn't have to just be eggs. There's so many options. There's so many things you could be using this product for. It tells you also that there is zero everything in this. Everything that they could list, sugar, total fat, sodium, total carbohydrates, protein, none of that. Absolutely zero on all counts. Also tells you there are about 565 servings per container. That's a lot of dozens of eggs. You buy eggs in the dozen, sometimes you buy them in the six packs. That's a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs you can be frying in that frying pan contraption thing. More importantly, I want to bring your attention to the directions that it tells you on the back. It tells you straight up. It says, point arrow on nozzle toward red mark on can. Okay, so we did, I did that. Shake well. Always shake, always give this a good shake. I can't be responsible for what's going to happen if, if you don't follow the directions. It's up to you. You're mature. You're, you're grown-ups. You are supposedly able to read. You're supposedly intelligent enough to look at the back and read and understand what you're doing. So shake it, shake the can, and it also tells you spray can with, up, let me start over, spray can upright about six inches from unheated cookware or bakeware. Six inches, that's about that, right? So you can, 
you got the pan, you can use your fingers, you can get a ruler or a tape measure if you're more comfortable with that, and get the get the distance just right and, and press down. See where it's yellow? Press down where it's yellow on top here. That's the spray. There are a number of warnings. I'm not going to read them all because, wow, it's like a quarter of the can is taken up by warnings. But there are a couple key warnings I want you to pay special attention to. These are important. I, they would not put them here if they were not important. It's telling you, use only as directed. So don't be fucking around with this, okay? Do not. This is not a toy. Use it the way they tell you to use it. Hold it six inches. Press down. Don't. It's not a toy. I think I said that. Well, I have to reiterate it because I know some of you aren't listening. It's not a toy. Don't fuck around with it. Use it as directed. It also tells you to keep out of reach of children, which is always one of my favorite things to do with products. I love keeping things out of reach of children. I think children are here for us to just mess with and and just kind of torment, if you will. So if you got a child, your own child, maybe your nephew, maybe your niece, maybe your cousin's child, you can say, hey, and just hold it just above their heads and watch them jump up, jump up. And then and as they, if they almost get it, you go, ooh. So come on, get it, get it, ooh. I don't have any children with me right now. I can't demonstrate it, so I think I I think you know what I am getting at here. Like keep away. So keep out of reach of children. It's a game. You can have fun with it. Let's see some TikTok videos of that happening. You keeping the canola nonstick cooking spray from Good and Gather away from children. That's that's what I want to see. That's what I'm trying to influence you to do today. So have fun with it. Post your TikTok videos. Enjoy life. Cook well. Eat well. Be well. Life is good. Be happy. Figure out what they mean by good and gather. And next time Sven doesn't show up for whatever reason, I'll see you again. Until then, goodbye. We hope that you have enjoyed this program. Please subscribe to this channel. Click like and check out our other fine programming. This is Lester P. Carson speaking for Banyan Tree Studios.